Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. going to be in preparation for candle day it is coming up this friday and saturday december 1st and 2nd and i wanted to get this video out for you guys real quick basically i'm going to review some of the christmas slash seasonal candles that i have currently in my collection i'm going to go through some of the ones that they have online and share my thoughts if i've had them before what my experience is what my experience is with them and then I'm also going to share just a little bit of some tips and tricks before candle day. So I hope you guys are ready for this video. Get out a notepad and probably a snack and let's get started. Okay, so first things first, um, I do want to say I have a few candle day videos from last year that I'll link up above. Um, I had a wish list last year plus tips and tricks. And then I also had my haul from last year. But um, last year, I think I got sick. Like I had an infection or something like sinus infection last year so I did not go in stores for candle day but the year before I did in 2020 with masks on and all that great stuff um, but last year they did something new with the app which they will I assume do again this year which is candle day opened early on Thursday night I believe around 8 9 10 p.m and um, you could shop online early on the app so they might do that again this year not confirmed as of me filming this video. I'm filming on Monday the 28th though, so there could be new news by the time this video goes up, but that's the news that we have for now. And then Friday and Saturday, they already have um, times up on the website. So go check your local store on the store locator um, online and see what time they open. My stores open at 5 a.m. So I'll be there at 5 a.m. on Friday. I actually have an out of town wedding on Saturday, so I will not be shopping on Saturday but I will shop on Friday, just like get it out the way in the morning and online if I need to. So yeah, that's a little bit about that stuff. But basically for candle day, I would definitely go into it with a list and I hope that this video helps you to make your list. So before I go into some quick reviews on candles that I do have, I do wanna remind you guys that if you have these coupons, they are actually good for two times basically. So you can use the 10 off 40 purchase online and there's a code on the back that will be the online code and then save this card because they will scan the barcode um, at the physical store. So you can use this twice. So if you do end up using it for candle day and you haven't used it online yet, make sure you take a photo of the back of the card so you can have that online code and you can basically get $20 off instead of just 10. So that's just a little tip for you guys. Um, besides that, let's get into some candles. So the first one I have here that I would definitely recommend is hot cocoa or hot cocoa and cream. Love this one. I get this one every year. Um, I actually think I got this last candle day and it's amazing. Wonderful Swiss Miss cocoa scent and it is pretty strong. I'd say like a seven out of 10. So that's a good one. Give hope which last year it was Give Hope. This is Peppermint Marshmallow. Now this one is for my girlies who love a very gentle scent. This is super light, so I wouldn't recommend it unless you have either a candle lamp or a candle crock to make it a little bit more um, scented. This is a very low thrower, like a three out of 10. Super, super low throw, but it's a very gentle and beautiful scent. It smells like homemade, like handmade marshmallows with a little bit of pepper, it, not pepper, peppermint. It's a really beautiful scent. It's one of my favorites. I've gotten it every year. This is from last candle day too. And I can't wait to bring this out and warm it upstairs in my bedroom. It's definitely great for a room. It's not gonna be a house filler, but it is one of my favorites. The next one that I have for you guys is peppermint hot chocolate. You can see there's a theme here. I do like the peppermint scents and the uh, winter time, but this one is really nice. It is very similar to hot cocoa and cream, so you might not need both, but I think the peppermint in this really sets it apart. It is definitely like a a candy peppermint. Um, it really smells like the peppermint hot chocolate from Starbucks. That's what it smells like. It's a really good thrower as well. I'd say like six out of 10. Definitely a really good one, especially if it's like, I feel like this is a very nice generic scent for somebody. It's not quite as chocolatey heavy as hot cocoa and cream, so this would be a nice giftable scent. So that is peppermint hot chocolate. Another classic scent is marshmallow fireside. 
This one's so good. It comes out in the fall and the winter. This is the fall packaging, but they have it already repackaged, I think two times for the winter time. So definitely recommend Marshmallow Fireside. This one is a house filler. It's like an eight or nine out of 10. Beautiful scent, beautiful throw. It's like marshmallows roasting on a fire, really nice. This would also be a really great giftable one because it's kind of a classic. So this is definitely one that I recommend. That's Marshmallow Fireside. Another one that I highly recommend to be giftable is Peppermint Sugar Cookie. This is a fan favorite. Um, a lot of people love this one. It's got the same kind of candy peppermint as peppermint hot chocolate, but you've got that beautiful, warm, gooey cookie note to it. Mm, this one is so, so good. And again, a nice heavy thrower. This is about a seven out of 10, really, really good scent. So I think these two are probably some of the most giftable ones just because they are fan favorites. One that's super perfect for this time of year is the Perfect Christmas. I had this one last year and it was absolutely amazing. This is this year's version. This is basically pine needles, cinnamon sugar, and marshmallow. So it's like the perfect mixture if you're not super jazzed about like a pine needle or a balsam kind of scent. I don't like those scents, but this one is really nice. It kind of cuts that tree outdoor note with the like sugary sweet marshmallow and it's really nice it's a very beautiful scent this is like a nine out of ten it's super strong so this is a really good one if you have a friend who's like super into christmas or if you yourself are okay next i have a few that i haven't actually burned yet but they do come out every year and this one is red velvet cupcake i actually picked this up last year at candle day and i still have yet to burn it um this one is Lush Red Velvet Cake, Cream Cheese Frosting, and Sweet Vanilla. It's super heavy on the cream cheese on cold. So this one is definitely not for the faint of heart. This is very gourmand. But if you're into that, it is coming back out again this year. It's already out and it will be at Candle Day. I haven't burned this one yet, but this is Cinnamon Sugared Pecans. This one smells really nice. I feel like it also will be fine to roll into January, February, March, um, just because it's a simple gourmand. It's warm cinnamon toasted pecans and brown sugar. Smells like it'll be pretty strong. It's super like cinnamon spicy, but it's a very nice like toasted nut scent. So that's cinnamon sugared pecans. I also have crushed candy cane right here. This one comes out every year. I've heard great things about it. I've actually never tried it. I just bought it in this year's packaging finally, but it is a really nice scent similar to twisted peppermint but not quite the same. This one I think is a little more like a candy cane, like a sweet sugary treat versus Twisted Peppermint is a little more just like peppermint versus candy cane. So both of those are really great. I do recommend Twisted Peppermint. That one is like a five or six out of 10 on throw. Um, it is a really, really nice also like solid staple gift kind of candle because it's just a simple peppermint scent so a lot of people would like that one it's also really good if you're sick it opens up your nasal passages so just a little tip there next i have a few kind of um unique ones so this one's strawberry pound cake this was from last candle day in the new year's packaging so they do come out with this kind of um new year's packaging every year with the same similar scents that come out. So I definitely recommend getting some staple scents like strawberry pound cake, champagne toast. Those two always come out for candle day. I totally recommend picking those up because you don't wanna to get too many Christmas candles since it's already gonna be um, the first week of December. You're not gonna have that much time to burn through those Christmas candles. So I would only get like as many as you think you can get through unless you wanna keep some for next year. Um, but I would also, be on the lookout for some candles that'll last you year round. So I'll go through some of those as well once we look through the ones that are online, but strawberry pound cake is always like a staple scent. This one is also strong, seven or eight out of 10. It usually has a great throw, beautiful strawberry cakey scent. So I love that one. And then I think they are coming back out with, or so I've heard the blends collection. So this came out in summer SAS of 2022. And this is Cinnamon Spice Vanilla in Paris Cafe. This is one of my favorite scents that it, they've come out with. Um, I love this one. I love coffee candles in the morning when I'm working. I work from home, so it's really nice to just light a candle and like be motivated. This is like the perfect cinnamon latte scent. That's what it smells like to me. It smells like you're in a coffee shop and you just got like a beautiful cinnamon brown sugar latte or whatever. 
It smells so delicious. So if they bring this back out, I will be picking one up. Um, I don't know exactly what blends are coming out. Maybe we'll know by the time this video goes up. But yeah, definitely recommend trying out some of the blend candles because they can be really fun. Okay, so that's it for all the candles that I currently own. Now let's go through online. I have my laptop in front of me and we're just gonna kind of scroll through. So I see they brought back out Vanilla Bean Marshmallow. Um, I did have, did I have that one last year? I think I did. Um, I wanna say it was really similar to Peppermint Marshmallow, the same kind of scent without peppermint in it. And it was also really, really light. But I think I'm still gonna pick it up because like I said, I love those light and simple marshmallow scents. So I think I'm still gonna pick up Vanilla Bean Marshmallow. Blueberry Sugar, they bring that out every year. Pink Fairy Gum Drop. Those aren't my favorite, honestly. Salted Caramel, I bought that one um, two years ago and I had to exchange it because it was honestly like way too cloying. So I would not recommend that one unless you know you love caramel scents. Um, Winter Candy Apple and Cedar and Sway are in that beautiful jar glass lid packaging. I would like to pick up at least one of those because that's just like a really beautiful candle presentation, I think. So there's that one. Tis the Season is a solid staple. It's basically just like cinnamon apples. So if you want that one, I definitely recommend it. Dream Bright should be fun. I think that'll be a good one to get as a gift as well to get one of those body care candles. Cinnamon Caramel Swirl is a great staple scent. Again, if you like caramel, then that's going to be a good one for you. Um, Vanilla Bean Noel in the Three Wick is very, very light. I've had that in the past and I think I will still get it again because it's really beautiful when you put it in a candle crock. Um, I think it's worth it, uh, but I am a Vanilla Bean Noel lover and I have been since childhood. So um, would not recommend it if you're looking for a strong candle though, it is very light. Um, spice Gingerbread is another super, super heavy spice scent. So if you're not down for that, I would not recommend it. But if you want that, it is a very strong thrower, like a 9 out of 10. Flannel is a great solid staple for guys. Also Sweater Weather, really, really good like masculine scents. Sugared Snickerdoodle is also a really great scent. That one is just like a nice, simple cookie scent. I got that one for my mom last year and she really loved it. Um, Fa La la latte is not good in my opinion i actually bought two and i returned them because they had zero throw when burning um, i'm actually interested to see though maybe if there's a different batch than the original batch that i bought mine from um hopefully it got um stronger because it smelled amazing on cold it smelled like a latte with like cookie crumbles on top which is what it's supposed to be so if it actually smelled like that while burning, I would definitely consider getting it again. Hopefully it was just a batch error for my candles that I bought. But yeah, that one I couldn't smell at all. Um, Frosted Cranberry, that's a great simple fruity scent. I haven't really talked about, none of these candles that I have in front of me are fruity. So I might actually pick up Frosted Cranberry because I don't have any fruity candles right now. And that one is a really good one. I would say it's like a six out of 10 on throw, kind of on the stronger side, um, but a really nice simple fruity scent. I definitely wanna try strawberry snowflakes in the three wick as well. Mahogany teakwood, mahogany balsam, and mahogany vanilla. All of those are really great masculine scents as well if you wanna get those off. Um, in my opinion, mahogany vanilla is the best out of those three, but that's just for me. Um, I don't actually see it on the website yet, um, so hopefully it does come out for candle day, but any of those other mahogany candles are also great. I've heard great things about Tree Farm. I'm just not a Christmas tree scent kind of gal. Spice Apple Toddy is honestly not my favorite. Um, not my favorite kind of apple-y scent. If I'm gonna get an apple scent, it's gonna be more like Champagne Apple and Honey or Winter Candy Apple. I I'm not a fan of Spiced Apple Toddy. It's honestly too spicy for me. Merry Cookie, although, is a great cookie scent. So Merry Cookie and Sugared Snickerdoodle, they're almost the same scent. Um, Sugared Snickerdoodle has just a little more cinnamon spice to it. Um, but those two are really great, simple cookie scents. Also great gifts if you have someone in your life who loves those kinds of scents. And then they do still have some fall scents on online. Um, so if you wanna pick up some fall scents for next year, they'll be at a really good deal. Um, so like leaves is a great one. I'm not saying anymore, but I just haven't turned the page. But they do also have all the body care candles online. So they have warm vanilla sugar, a thousand wishes and into the night. Those would be great giftable scents. Um, I myself, am definitely gonna buy warm vanilla sugar. I've always meant to buy it and I never just like bit the bullet and did it. So I'm gonna do it this 
this um, candle day and I'm definitely gonna try it out for you guys. I don't know yet what it's like, but I definitely wanna get it. Cinnamon Spice Vanilla is also a great one for year round, especially if you like those kinds of scents. It's gonna be a really good one to kind of keep around for the rest of the year. Um, they have rose water and ivy, sugar, lemon zest. These are all great, you know, year round scents. Vanilla bean, I definitely wanna pick that one up. It's just plain and simple vanilla bean. I wanna pick it up and see how it is. I don't know if it's gonna be strong, it's probably not, um, but that's one that I have on my list. They also have gingham, apparently that's in stores. Um, strawberry pound cake, sprinkled birthday cake, that one is a really good one as well. And Cucumber Melon is an online exclusive. So that is all the ones that I'm seeing online currently. There's probably gonna be more. Um, they usually bring out some unique candles for candle day. Um, so just keep an eye out on Instagram. A lot of people are posting as much as they can about candle day. So definitely keep an eye out there, but I will be doing a kind of vlog, come shop with me for candle day. And then I'll also do a haul. Um, I am going to go up 5 a.m. So hopefully I can record the haul and get it up before work on Friday um, and kind of have that all done for you guys. So yeah, that is everything for my kind of rundown of candle day quick review of some candles. Let me know down below if you have any questions. I hope I can help you and help answer those questions for you. But that is everything for this video. So let me know down below if you are participating in candle day and how many candles do you have on your list? Because it's fun to talk about scents, but like I wanna know how many candles are you picking up? Um, for me, I'm gonna try and limit it to one or two cartons, which is under 12. That would be great. Um, I do already have too many candles though, so. I don't need any, but I will definitely be shopping. <laughs> Anyways, that is everything for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe down below, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.